to, of course, I was pinning that. I got to say, I look forward to this show day every day because we know we kick it off with you. How you doing? I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine, thanks. It's wonderful with respect to how we sort of have, are, are all a phoenix after the pandemic. You know, we rose out from the ashes and a lot of us are doing what Michelle and you are doing with Tampa Bay's Morning Blend of helping with inspiration, you know, how we can change. You know, we had to change a lot and regroup with respect to the pandemic. And, you know, I see it a lot with the folks who, who I talk to all the time about changing your life and trying to do a new career and mm -hmm. thinking about other things. Uh, I talk about it a lot with my resellers through, of course, my YouTube channel, Dr. Lori V. And what's wonderful is people are saying, I didn't know I could do this, but you know, I gave it a shot. So I love to hear about books like Michelle's and other ways that we can inspire each other. You are Thank so you. right. And you know what's funny too about both of you, you know, Michelle, you were always, you know, of course we met you through beauty, but yep. you not just, you know, walk the walk, you talk the talk the talk kind of phrase there because you are able to do what you believe in the self-confidence. You talk about that beauty being from the inside. Dr. Lori here, she's also the one. She's got the knowledge. She's breaking it down for us. She may challenge us every week on Dumpster or No Dumpster, but she gives us the reasons why on each item. So let's go yeah, ahead and kick off today's game. What do you have? There's a lot of cool stuff out there, and a lot of it relates to the world of sports. You know, we all love the world of sports. This is a Hank Aaron autographed baseball. And of course, our viewers send in photographs of the objects that they have questions about. And then we play the game to see if it's dumpster or no dumpster. Is it worth more than $50 or less than $50? $50 or less, it hits the dumpster. If not, of course, we let you know the value and you should hang on to it or think about that value when you're trying to resell it. And I give you those tips, of course, here uh, every Wednesday and on my website at drlorib.com. What do you think, ladies? The Hank Aaron signed baseball. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I spent time in Atlanta, so I do have, you know, an appreciation there. Uh, still, I think it's marked in the parking lot of the old Turner Field right. you know, where some of his homers <laughs> were. Um, you know what? I'm going to say no dumpster uh, for sure. I mean, even if it's maybe on the line or something, I think that's still one of those collector's things that you always yeah. want to hold on to. I agree with you. And sports memorabilia. And, you know, even during the pandemic, I, you know, was going through a lot of closets and looking at things that I've held on to thinking, oh, maybe yep. I should get rid of yep. some things. And sports memorabilia, I just, I always hold on to. Yeah, I'm with you. Know. Is that the sports smart move? Sports memorabilia, definitely. This example is a $250 oh. example. Uh, it has a good provenance or history and background legacy of this particular piece. It's a winner. That's a winner. That's a no dumpster for sure. Nice. Yay. Starting off with sports. Okay, what do we have next? Our next piece is a painting. And if you look at some of the aspects of paintings, I talk a lot about art and how you should look at art and how to identify it. This is a painting by an artist named O'Shea, William O'Shea. And you notice the big diagonal line of the fence that moves your eye up and down that hillside. And then in the in the very four in the very background, you see a very dramatic dynamic sky. Um, I will say that I think the structure is a little bit faulty. It's a little bit sort of creaky, if you will. Uh, but in fact, this is a relatively nice impressionist piece. Now, it's not done during the impressionist time period. It's a middle 1900s piece, dates to about the 1960s. But it's a nice painting. This artist has some training, and I really like that strong diagonal right in the middle of the composition. So when we start to look about look at art and how to look at art, uh, people can start to identify, is this a good painting or a not so good painting? So this falls into the good painting realm. I'm I'm going to say no dumpster on this one. I feel like, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I've even heard of this artist before. And so right. I feel like with that being said, with the points that you brought up where it grabs your eye, I'm going to go no dumpster. What are you thinking, Michelle? My gut is saying dumpster. Oh, oh. I just, yeah, I don't know why something's telling me mm, I like, hey, dumpster. I like it. There we go. One and one, Lori. That piece is worth $150. It's oh. a no dumpster. And then you have to add the value of the frame, too, which is about another 50 oh. bucks. So you're around $200 on that painting. Oh, there we go. Yes. You That's never know. You don't. You never know. Interesting. Okay. Last item. Again, these are all sent in by our viewers through our Facebook page. A big thank you to all of our viewers who play along as well. What do you have for us? So these are salt and pepper shakers. A lot of people collect salt and pepper shakers. These are little TP forms. They date to the 1940s. They're ceramic. And uh, of course, 
They're in good condition. I'm not, the, the photograph needs a little bit to be desired, a little bit of glare on the photograph, but they are <laughs> ceramic uh, glazed TP figural salt and pepper shakers, 1940s. I had, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, you should see Michelle and I were like trying to like lean in like, I can't tell. <laughs> I what, know, sometimes um, it's hard. Ah, uh, they're definitely a conversational piece. There you go. <laughs> there you go. What I, do you think? I, I think no dumpster, but I think you know I'm going with my personal preference. I think they would be a fun little conversational <laughs> piece true. on your table. So we've established we want to go to a dinner party at Michelle's because okay. we have some fun salt pepper I shakers. I love salt pepper shakers. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to split just for the fun. I'm going to say you know what? We could probably pass on those. I would pass on those too. They're worth $20 for the set. Salt and pepper shakers had their day, but a lot of people are liquidating those. They're not as collectible or valuable as they once were. Nice. Did you find any salt and pepper shakers when you were cleaning out your closets? Yes, I do. And now I have some that I can put on each person's right, right in front of their little. <laughs> they have their own. <laughs> yes, in front of their place. <laughs> Maybe Michelle on. needs to now learn. I love that dinner parties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Hey, Lori, as always, share with our viewers where people can go because I feel like we hear so often, oh, I have this piece. I want to get Dr. Lori's input on this. Where should people go to get in touch with you? DrLoriV.com is my website. That's where all the information is. Free newsletters and, of course, where you can buy my recommended loops, all kinds of stuff. But um, basically, DrLoriV.com, and I'll answer your questions there. And you can submit photos at the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. So keep them coming. Good stuff. Great so much to fun. see you. <laughs> right? Thank you. I really love Wednesdays. It just kicks it off on the right yeah. foot. I know? wasn't that great at it, but it was so much fun hey. to guess. You know, Dr. Lori can attest. I have several <laughs> I'm not very good at. But hey, Lori, take care. Okay, we'll see you soon. And we hope you stay right there as well because, of course, we have some more fun coming your way, including we're meeting one of the skaters from Disney on Ice.